Anonymous0529 is asking, can or will you do a video regarding genital cutting of boys? And if not, can you in 20 words or less say what you think of it? Um, easy. It is criminal. It should be internationally outlawed, um, condemned widely. And we need an entire paradigm shift in terms of how we look at the genital cutting and sexual abuse of boys. It is sexual abuse to do something like that to a child. Um, it's not, it's not, no, it's not sexual abuse. It is, um, phys yeah, it is. I think it is. You're it's permanently carrying someone's it's sexual torture. organs. I, yeah, yeah, I guess. But I think that's the, the, the definition of that is, it doesn't matter. It's just abuse. It's just torture. It's just tortures of infants. Yeah. But no, but you're completely right. Um, I think like every single person that has, uh, like I think it should be the law that if you take if you put a knife on a baby, whatever the gender, um, and if it's not medical a medical necessity, like if you cut any part of any a baby for just, um, you should go to jail. You should have your license removed permanently as a medical practitioner. You should never be able to be trusted with any any uh, children again. The, um, the doctor should go to uh, jail and pay a fee, lose the license. The parents should go to jail and pay a fee. Um, but yeah, this is, should be a criminal. It is, if I wanted to summarize it, I would say that this is one of the greatest human rights violation of our time that people are completely ignoring. Uh, and I would say that if you add up the cost together, um, even though the genital mutilation of, of, of girls, of, of baby girls, uh, individually, it's a lot more harmful than compared to an individual, individually compared to a boy. Um, but the aggregate uh, suffering of genital cutting of boys is a lot more right now. Like the amount of pain and suffering is being caused. Um, and don't tell me like, oh, they're going to forget. First of all, I don't know if people understand. You're, they're cutting the genitals without anesthetics, right? Like I understand all the reasons why this should be uh, criminal because of other reasons as well. Like, for example, basically you're um, changing a baby's bodies without their consent, without them ha having the capacity to consent. Um, you know, they're, you're mutilating a child. Um, you're damaging their body. But beyond all of that, the fact that you're torturing, like if you do this to an adult, um, it would be a crime. It would be on the goddamn news, right? Like imagine if you take like a attack, like a man and just like kidnap a man and just start like cutting their genitals with a knife without their consent, right? Um, without anesthetics. Um, this would be like, what the hell is happening? But like apparently if you do that to a grown man, that will be considered a crime. But if you do this to a vulnerable little infant um, and torture a, torture a goddamn baby on his, on his genitals with knives, and this we have normalized this. Like how sick humanity has become that we have normalized and accepted torturing a baby's genitals with a knife. Like this is barbaric. Like I'm, I, I'm almost certain like more certain than many things that if this was not the norm and anybody was introducing this, people would be horrified. People would be horrified that this is like, even if a, a small little cult was doing this, right? People would be like, what, this is the most barbaric thing they have ever heard of. That there's a small little cult that is putting knives on. Yeah, on if there anything, was like right? a cult in the middle of Idaho doing this. Like, yeah. you know, like the feds would bust in and like, <laughs> seriously, are you kidding me? Shut people, that people down. People would be shocked. People would not even want to imagine the fact that they're doing that. And 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 if you think like if you say this is okay because they're not going to forget, you're an idiot. Okay, you're an idiot. They're they're experiencing the pain right there. Like if I if I was like, hey, like can I? Um, I'm going to torture this uh, person, this man, uh, but then we're going to make them forget it. So it's okay, no matter how much we torture them. Like let's say like. I don't know, like, you know how in Black and Men you had, like, this device that you could wipe people's memory off? Imagine you're like, hey, we could wipe these people's memories after we tortured them. So, therefore, the torture is okay, 
Like, imagine if you were torturing somebody with knives, but it's okay. We're going to wipe their memory, and they're not going to even remember that this happened to them. They're experiencing the pain at the time. This should be a crime. Um, yeah, so also, but the first part of the question, do, have we done, can you do a video regarding, we had a professional at Secular Jihadist um, talk about this. It was really, really good. I don't know what to search for to, for you to be able search to find it. Secular Jihadist's Brian Earp. That's his name, right? Brian? Yes. Um, it's spelled me... E-A-R-P. You'll find it. How do you remember these things? I don't know. Brian, what? Earp. Earp. E-A-R-P. E -A -E -A -R -P? Mm -hmm. I can't find it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, that would not be the best thing to search for. Oh, here. Search for male circumcision, uh, religious freedom, or child abuse. This mm. is episode number 43 from the Secular Jihadist. Okay. Uh, so we did like a two hour interview um, here with a doctor. It was really, really good. So make sure you go watch that. This is a professional telling us how horrible this thing is, right? So this is the title on the Secular Jihadist channel. This is the this what this doctor who inter we interviewed is a leading, um, you know, doctor when it comes to fighting back and, and, and destroying all the misconceptions about the so-called benefits, so-called benefit, okay, of ma male gen and genital mutilation. Um, like he actually that. publishes academic articles about this. Right, right. Just to be clear, there are some uh, rare cases, very rare cases where it could be necessary. Okay. Medically necessary. But other, medically necessary. But other than those very rare cases, then it should be a crime. All right. Of course. Because we don't have any problems with parents intervening on their children's bodily autonomy when it comes to medically necessary procedures. Yeah, of course. Yes, yes. So. It's amazing. But by, by the way, it's amazing. Like people get would get upset if you put a tattoo on a baby. Okay. Because they're like, oh my God, they didn't have, how could you do this? You should have let them make a decision. Like people will be outraged. Uh, mm -hmm. Like a tattoo and, and they should be outraged. But a tattoo is by far, you know, less intrusive and less damaging to a body than you cutting their net genitals and less painful. Presumably even. less painful too. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.